Okay, the last tra trailer that we've got for the night is the first look at Bayonetta 3 gameplay that came out of the Nintendo Direct. Um, I've not played either of the previous two, so I don't really have, you know, really much opinions on the previous two games. They look very similar in style to, like, the Devil May Cry series, so I'm expecting a lot of action, hack and slash type of gameplay. Um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how how it looks once they release it. I do find it interesting that uh, Bayonetta being a generally a more mature game that Nintendo is actually now exclusively publishing it. So this is it's kind of an interesting move for Nintendo, but I appreciate it. So let's just go ahead and check it out. Not actual gameplay footage. Isn't this supposed to be the gameplay reveal? How is that the first thing? And I get it, this is a cinematic, but I mean... Nice looking scars there. The heck am I looking at? Oh my, these poor guys. It's getting destroyed. <laughs> okay. And there she is. Bad boy. It seems I'm un Fashionably late, but I'm ready to give you everything you want. So I'm I'm still curious. So I know this like this start off by saying this is not actual gameplay footage. So is yeah, sorry. It's just it's just throwing me off now. Is this going to be actual gameplay footage or is this still uh, 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 going to change? Those guys actually look like they're from Warframe. Okay, so we've got some dance-based summoning. Oh, for a second I thought the spider was actually a boss. Bayonetta 3. Okay. Platinum Games. 2022. No actual date. Does that mean anything specific? Wait, are they... Who is that? And why does he look vaguely like, uh, uh, what's his name from, uh, Devil May Cry? 
Looks good. Looks interesting. Um, yeah, uh, as I said, like I've, I've never really played any of the previous games before. But, you know, it looks like typical, like, hack and slash, Devil May Cry-esque action-adventure game. Um, just set within the Bayonetta universe. Uh, the dance-based summoning was kind of interesting to see there, but I mean, overall looks good. Gameplay looks great. Um, yeah. Not really a lot to hate about this trailer. Other than just the fact that they decided to start off with not actual gameplay footage. Um, and sure, obviously they were probably talking about this beginning scene, but I would have liked for them to at least put out some sort of asterisk saying, this is now gameplay footage, so yeah. Kind of cool that they are that they are actually publishing it, Nintendo. As I said, like it's so weird for Nintendo to be publishing a more mature game. Um, they generally try and stick as far away from that as possible, so it's very interesting that they're deciding to publish Bayonetta at all, because I know that they did that with uh, 2, and they're now doing it with 3. Um, and who knows, maybe, maybe I'm wrong on this, right? Let me, let me uh, check. Bayonetta 3. Yeah, platform, Nintendo Switch, it's a Nintendo exclusive. And yes, I, I... No, it is being published by Nintendo. Yeah, it's developed by Platinum Games. Um, which I know that they have done other other awesome games as well. I just want to remind myself because... Oh, come on. I was not wanting the fandom. What else have they actually made? I know they've made some great games, but... Just for whatever reason, my brain is just not thinking... Mad World, that's the one I was thinking. They did Mad World and Bayonetta in the same year, back in 2009. No, I appreciate that, actually. I appreciate when developers actually take time between... Uh, between the different... Uh, iterations of their game, so I do appreciate that. They did Nier, but they, they, they couldn't have done it from the beginning. I thought Nier was... Uh, Near Automata, which is a great game, by the way. You should check out Nier if you're if you're at all familiar with it. But I I wasn't the impression that it was a different company that did Nier. No, they okay. Okay, no, Platinum Games did Nier Automata. Interesting. And that game's that game is super fun. I would highly recommend that. Yeah, Bayonetta 2, The Wonderful 101, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Because, you know, who doesn't like made up made up words like Revengeance? Vanquish, Vanquish was a fun game. So, yeah, Plat Platinum Games, they, they make some pretty, pretty great games. And Bayonetta 3 looks pretty awesome, so. Yeah, not really a lot else to say. Hey, thanks for checking out that clip from my podcast, Green Squadron TV. If you'd like to watch the full podcast, you can check it out at the link down below in the description. And if you'd like to watch it live, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash green underscore leader 87. I stream it there live every Friday night at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Thanks for watching.